Hello everyone and welcome to our lesson for today. Today we are going to introduce a mystery word. I'm so excited. So let's get started. Materials. The materials you need for our lesson today is just your thinking cap. So we're ready to go. We have three learning targets for our lesson today. The first target says, I can identify the name and sound for the letters H and P. Our second target says, I can search in a poem and find a word with one letter in it. And our last target says, I can use clues from the poem to identify a mystery word. Read aloud. Now it's time to read our poem again. A pink parrot took my hat. Follow closely as I read through the words. I walked out of my house ready for the day when I saw a big pink parrot flying my way. The bird swooped down and took my hat then gave my head a little pat. I was so surprised, I just stopped and sat. Have you ever heard of anything quite like that? Articulatory gestures. We have been working on the letters P and H. I want you to watch closely how I say the key words for those letters and how I make the sound. Let's start with the letter H. House, house. Notice how my mouth is open wide when I say it, and I feel a little breath come out when I make the sound for house. And my belly moves a little bit too. I want you to try to make the sound for the word house. Was your mouth open wide? Did you feel air come out and your belly move a little bit? House, right. Now let's try the letter P for parrot. When I say P for parrot and I make the P sound, watch my mouth. P. My lips are closed together, like a puff of air coming out. You try to make the p sound and see if your lips can do the same. Good, p, p. Awesome job making those sounds with me. Transition song. Now it's time to sing a special song. See if you can follow along. Let's solve the mystery, let's solve the mystery, clue by clue, clue by clue. The clues will tell you what to do to make the word become clearer to you. Who we'll know the word will figure it out, clue by clue, clue by clue. Word work. High frequency words are words that authors use a lot in their writing. We have a few of those high frequency words in our poem, but we're not sure which ones they are. So it's a mystery. I do have some clues that may help us figure out what those words are. Let's see if we can figure it out. Here's my first clue. The mystery word has one letter in it. Do you see any words that have just one letter? I see the word A has one letter. I also see the word I. So we have it narrowed down to two words, A and I. Hmm, let's hear another clue. My second clue is, the mystery word is an 
uppercase letter. Do you see any uppercase letters in our poem? If you thought that the mystery word was the letter I, you're right. Awesome job. The word I is a high frequency word, which means it shows up a lot of times. So let's see how many times we can find it in our poem. Now let's read through our poem and see how many eyes we can find. I walked out of my house ready for the day when I saw a big pink parrot flying my way. The bird swooped down and took my hat, then gave my head a little pat. I was so surprised, I just stopped and sat. Have you ever heard of anything quite like that. Let's count and see how many uppercase I's we can find in our poem. One, two, three, four. Wow, there are four uppercase I's in our poem. Nice work finding and counting the high frequency word I. Closing Reflection. I have two questions for you as we reflect on our lesson for today. My first question is, when we see the letter H, how can we remember the sound it makes? Remember your mouth is open wide and your tongue is flat down in your mouth. Just like that. My second question is, how will that help us with reading or writing? You got it. Count how many times you see the word I today. I hope you had fun learning all about our letters H and P today and our high frequency word I. Thanks for joining me and I will see you next time.